everyone so I'm going to edit this image using the fine art painterly portrait collection so I thought that I would record it um, so you can see how I use them and how I make them work to best for me it's not a full edit tutorial so I'm not going to go through absolutely everything I do um, I'm just showing you the actions I'm just cleaning up this floor a little bit I have cropped the image and fixed the background a little bit um, but yeah I'm going to show you the actions in use this is a problem with having a dark floor <laughs> Okie dokie, so the first action I'm going to use is a soft light base. It's actually one of my favourite actions in the collection. Um, turn it off and on, you can see it lifts the shadows. doesn't really do anything majorly fancy. It's just that um, I really like how it lights the image. So it's just so nice and soft, it just gives that really nice base. So yeah, I'm going to switch my brush to about 30% opacity and I'm just taking a little bit of that extra light off her, don't need her too light. I'm going to play the action again and I'm going to invert it this time and then at 100% opacity I'm just going to mask on this side where it's just a little bit darker we can fix that anyway this is just a really quick way of lightening so just select color and mask it over okay so then i've got fine art base and i'm going to turn that down a little bit and that just gives all the tones that I really love and then I'm just going to go to soften the harsh light and I'm just going to mask that onto the bright highlights okay so now I'm going to go curves blacks down and I'm going to adjust the opacity to my liking and then switch to my black brush at 100% opacity and I'm going to spotlight that right there take a little bit off there as well where the light is coming from okay I'm going to zoom in I'm going to try silky skin sometimes I prefer silky skin sometimes I prefer um perfect soft skin it just depends on the image but let's have a look at silky skin and perfect soft skin is completely free to download from the website it's the one that i use in all my edit tutorials so i just give it you for free So I just like to go in a bit lazy and then clean it up after. <laughs> so this is just me editing as I normally would. Obviously when I'm doing edit tutorials I slow it all down for you a little bit. Okay, you can see she's quite pale with the silky skin so I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use perfect soft skin. I do absolutely love silky skin, just not for this image. She's... Um, very well lit so she's quite bright and it just adds to that i don't want to darken her so So when you're masking it on just make sure that you avoid hair and clothes and eyelashes and lips and nostrils 
Okay. I'm gonna check this a little bit down here just because I feel like it's left out. <laughs> Okie dokie, so now I'm going to have a look. I'm going to use, I'm going to come down here actually and adjust the background first. So I'm going to go brown background only. And then I'm going to turn down the opacity slightly. So we've got this browny colour and I'm now going to place my texture so I'll give you a guess to which one I'm using <laughs> so if you've watched any recent tutorials you'll see that this is my favourite texture at the moment and this is number 11 from the Fine Art Portrait Texture Collection so I'll turn my blending mode to soft light add a layer mask Change my opacity to 60% black brush and I'm just going to click over. Ha -ha. So you can see where my action has missed a little bit of the background there. So I'm going to come back down below and I'm going to come back to my actions and I'm going to go brown mask on. So this is the reason that we have the mask on option just for when Photoshop decides to be a pain in the bottom. Fab. Okay, so I'm coming back up to the top and I'm going to go skin toning warm about 60%. Turn it off and on. So it just has that warm contrast. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Then I'm going to add some blush. And I'm also going to mask that on to the lips as well. Okay. I'm now going to come back up here and I'm going to go blacks down again. And I'm going to adjust the opacity. Then with 100% opacity black brush, I'm going to mask off the darker areas on the backdrop. So the bits where it's just a little bit too dark. So it is still on the backdrop if I show you off and on. Then I'm going to make my brush smaller. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm just going to bring back the light wherever it's hitting. So I'm you'll notice I'm using these in all different orders. So I've listed the actions in and not an order of use, but an order of what they are. So you've got like your base actions here, and then you've got your skin actions, then eyes, and then background, and then like finishing touches, what you would normally do. However, I mix it up all the time. So don't feel like you have to go in the right order. There is no right order to use them. So even on the finishing actions, I will come and use those in the middle of an edit. It's just about playing around with them and seeing how they work best for you and it really is different for every single oops, for every single image so it's never the same okay let's brighten a little bit okay so curves mid tones up i'm going to invert that could have just used brighten skin to be fair and then i'm just going to brighten the face where I want to brighten. Fab. Okay, so I'm now going to, let's cool it down, see what I mean by using a finishing action early. I'm going to use Paintly Cool. I love this action. I just love it so much. I'm going to turn that off and on. Fab. 
Okay, now I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to do a little bit of dodge and burn. Soft bronze burn. Honestly, best burn in action ever. And I'm going to drop to 20%. Now I would use between 10 and 20% on this. Tabitha has a broken nose, so you can see here. Goes out a little bit, she's broken at school. But because it's only on the outside and um, it's not causing her breathing problems on the inside, they won't do anything about it. So she has this little bump in her nose constantly. So I'm going to go down the arms and you can see using this soft bronze burn it's so nice and soft and just bronzy and warm it's, there's nothing muddy about it you're not going to get any muddy tones using it I do however still use the burn action so I'm going to go to my burn tool and I use this mostly for clothes so going in the little creases and it just really helps define those so I don't burn creases where the outfit needs ironing it's the natural lines that fall in the dress so when you sit down you're going to naturally get these lines I wouldn't emphasize the fact that an iron has not been used which is definitely not going to happen in my house ironing is swearing in my house <laughs> Okay, let's go into the book as well and we can just define some of the lines. If you've got a whack on tablet, you can do this much straighter than I'm doing it. Fab. Okay, so now I'm going to use a soft glow. So I'm going to use my brush tool. I'm going to use that 15% and see how we go. I'm just brightening under the eye. So up the head, down the arm a little. So I'm just going to, now I've zoomed out, I can see this is a little bit heavy, so I'm just going to take 30% off until it's perfect. Okay, then I'm going to go to Extra Glow. And all your little um, boxes pop up telling you how to use the action best. So I'm just masking on wherever I want that extra glow, just as you would the dodge tool. And the good thing is you can switch between your black and white brush. So if you make any mistakes or you want to take a little bit off, with your black brush it's easy to just switch between the two okay and again I do use my dodge tool so I'm going to come on dodge and select my dodge tool I'm just going to dodge down the creases of the dress. All up there into the hair. I'm going to use an action that's not in the portrait collection. Whoops. Okay. So I'm now going to use Skin Blend, the action that I'm going to use, that's not in it, um, in the collection, that's not used yet, don't worry. <laughs> and then 100% opacity on my white brush and I'm going to mask that onto the skin and you can see that it's beautifully blending out those skin tones. I love this action. 
and if you don't have the painterly portrait collection you can get this on its own look at that look at that it's literally blended out the little skin tones beautifully oh, it saves so much work as well so much work look at that skin beautiful okay so i'm now going to scroll down and i'm going to use my silky sorry that was my knee <laughs> my silky painterly hair collection i'm gonna zoom in so it's not silky silky painterly hair collection the silky painterly hair action <laughs> and i'm gonna mask that on too has anyone got just that monday feeling today <laughs> Well, you might not be watching this on a Monday, but it's Monday. And I, I feel it's Monday. <laughs> okay. I love this action. I literally love it. It just brings that painterly feel to the image. Okay, so quick tip on this action, switch to your black brush at 40% opacity now and just take it off the top of the hair and anywhere where the hair's going a bit of a different direction. Turn that off and on. Now imagine I had all the time in the world and I went through every strand now with the dodge tool because it separated those strands, it would look amazing. If I had my Wacom tablet pl plugged in, I would definitely do that but I don't. Okay, so let's have a look what we've got. So we don't need any of the eyes because her eyes are closed. However, we can sharpen the lashes. So I'm gonna go sharpen the eyes and details and then make my brush nice and small. And I'm literally just gonna mask that on. You can see that's way too sharp. So instead of turning the opacity down, I'm going to switch to my brush to 50%. I'm just undone, Control or Command Z, what I did. And then 50% and I'm just going to mask that on. And then I'm going to mask onto the lips too. It's fabulous. Okay, then I'm going to, we'll try Cool Shadows. Let's have a look. Oh, I quite like that. Yeah, so we're going to leave that on. I might actually leave it on 100%. Let me have a, let me have a little play. No, we'll leave it there. So 71%. Happy with that. Um, then we've got some more finishing action, uh, finishing touches. We can warm the highlights, but I feel like it's warm enough. Um, so I'm now going to add texture. So I'm going to click add texture. It just tells you what to do. It tells you how to add your texture. So file and place embedded. And I'm going to choose number seven from the fine art portrait collection. This is like my goal to for this one. Um, then texture adjustments. I'm going to click. And then I'm going to go to Magical Finish for Texture. There's two. There's one for texture and one without texture. So it tells you about a little bit about the action. I'm going to hit OK. Switch my brush to 100% opacity. And I'm going to mask that where I want the focus to be. So right there. I'm going to turn that off and on. Fab. So I'm going to flatten, go to history and take a snapshot. And this is before and after. You can see I've just fixed the background from there to there. And then after. So before and after. And that's using the Fine Art Paintly Portrait Collection. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and how I use them. Obviously, I'm now going to clean up this backdrop a little more, but I won't have you sit through it and be bored. <laughs> Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.